If you would like to connect the custom domain over to Groove and let Groove handle all of the connections for the domains, for subdomains, root domains, the DNS records and everything like that, so you don't have to, you can now do it very simply. Just log into your Groove dashboard, navigate over to the upper right hand side corner, hamburger menu, select my account. In the account settings, you will see domains as the last option in the tabs, and then you can click custom domains and then manage. This is the domains panel where you're going to be able to see a way to add new domains. And also once you connected the domains, they are going to be showing up here so you can manage them further. Let's go and add a domain. If we click the add a domain button, we are now welcomed with a wizard where we are going to guide you through step by step on how to connect a domain. The option full domain subdomain setup this is the recommended way for connecting a domain where you let Groove handle all of the connection between the, the DNS records, subdomains, root domains, and everything else. Let's just click the next button. Here, we are going to add our domain. Once you're done, click next. Here we are shown a screen with two name servers. These are two records that we'll need to copy over and bring over to our domain name registrar, basically the place where you purchased your domain. So let's copy over the first record and let's navigate over to our domain name registrar. In my case, I'm using Namecheap. If you're using something else like GoDaddy, Name Silo, Google Domains, or anything else, you'll need to look for a way to add and manage the name servers. In Namecheap, it's very simply done by just selecting custom DNS from this dropdown. We copied over the first name server record that we're going to be pasting here as a name server one, and we'll go back to Groove and copy over the second name server and paste it in here as a name server two. We can click on this green check mark and confirm the connection between Groove and the domain. It says here DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. In my personal experience, this is normally done between 30 minutes and uh, one hour. So you can very, very shortly revisit the domain connection and then have everything validated. Once we copy pasted over these records to our domain name registrar, we can now click the next button and see if our DNS records have been validated. As you can see, I'm getting an error which says that the validation is not happening yet because the records in the place where I purchased the domain were not set yet. So when you see this error message, you don't have to worry about that. You can click the I'll do this later and then complete this process. From this screen, we can now see that we added a domain and we are now pending verification. After a couple of moments, we're going to be able to click on the verify domain and then have our domain verified. So let me just pause and come back in a moment. After a couple of minutes, we can now double check if our domain is, is verified by clicking on the click to verify domain. We'll also double check over here, validate DNS records, and we can see that the domain has been successfully verified. This is now meaning that the domain that we connected is now connected to Groove. The last thing we need to do is choose primary app for this domain by clicking on here and selecting which app will actually manage the root domain. That means domain.com. If you would like to have your website hosted on the domain.com, then you can choose Groove pages. If you would like to have a blog on domain.com, you can choose Groove blog and so on. In my case, I'm going to choose Groove Pages and click this check mark. Once this is done, we're going to see that the domain has been successfully connected with Groove Pages. And from here, we can now further manage our domains.